So today I wanna to show you Google Analytics for WordPress and how to easily add Google Analytics to your WordPress websites. Now I'm gonna be showing you two different ways to do this. The first being a manual way of doing it. And the second will be using a very, very popular, probably the best Google Analytics plugin available for WordPress. So let's get cracking. Now I'm probably gonna state the obvious, but Google Analytics is a free service that provides a ton of data and insights that will really help grow your traffic and conversions. Now, before we continue a quick side Side note about website speed. Now, some people might tell you that by adding this code to your website that it's going to slow down your overall website and particular pages, which is obviously the opposite of what Google actually likes. But please rest assured that this is not the case and the code we'll be adding will absolutely not affect your website speed. In fact, if you want to learn how to get your websites to load in under three seconds, I actually have a video, you can just click in the top right hand corner of this video, where I show you a step-by-step -step way. I'll also give you a free guide that takes you through the whole process of actually getting your websites to load as quick as possible. You know, it's just a thank you for supporting my channel. Anyway, so let's carry on. So when is the right time to actually add Google Analytics to your website? Well, I say as soon as you have your website ready to go live. So let's get to the part of actually installing Google Analytics. Now, as I mentioned before, you can install Google Analytics with or without a plugin. It all depends on you. And so I'm going to cover both ways step by step. Right, so first you need a Google Analytics account. That's pretty obvious, we know that. If you already have an account set up and you know how to get the code, skip this section and move on to the part where I'll actually show you how to add it to your website. Great, so let's create a Google Analytics account. So what you need to do is you need to go to a website called marketingplatform.google.com forward slash about forward slash analytics. Now choose from the menu on the top, sign in to analytics to create your free account. So once you've created your account, you need to go and add your website. To do this, we simply click on create account. And this is where we're going to give the account name. So enter something descriptive, not test, unless it's obviously a test. Now have a look at the settings at the bottom over here. Uh, we'll quickly go over that just to sort of cover all bases. You know, the data sharing settings, you'll, you'll see different options here. You can decide what you want to do and what you want to share or not. Uh, Google products and services is the most important one because if you want to in integrate with services like your AdWords or your Google console, you'll need to check this box or you won't be able to integrate those services. Benchmarking, check this box for this option if you'd like to use anonymous data to compare your website to other websites in this industry or in your industry rather. Technical support, check this box for this option if you might need technical support in the future. And then account specialist, check this box if you might need support by Google Analytics account specialist because they'll only be able to access your data to help you if you actually check this option. So click the next button, make sure you select web and then over here we're going to give the website a name again just try and make it as descriptive as possible and then enter your website select the correct category now the reporting time zone now this is important this sets the time zone you want to use as the day boundary for your reports regardless of where your data originates from for example if you choose united states pacific time then the beginning and end of each day are calculated based on Pacific time, even if the hit comes from New York, London, or Moscow. So set it in a way that will reflect the reality of the audience you're targeting, so you won't end up seeing part of your traffic on the wrong day in the report due to the time zone settings. All right, so finish up by clicking Create, and you'll see a pop-up with a Google Terms of Service. So make sure you read it, check all the boxes, and then click I Accept. And there we go, you'll find yourself inside your new Google Analytics. It automatically shows you the admin panel and you can see it includes a menu that says tracking code. It's already selected. This is where you get your code you'll need to add to your website. Let's look at the information this section is actually showing. So your tracking ID, this is made up of three parts. The letters AU, which stands for Universal Analytics, which is basically the old name for Google Analytics. A number with several digits and the last part is the order number for the websites that you have in your account. This being the first website probably you're adding to your analytics account, you'll see the number one 
So your tracking code should look something like AU1234567891-1. So you need to carefully copy the code below this information as you'll need to paste that into the head code of your website. Now this tracking code will need to be on every single web page of your website. So Google is able to get all the information it needs. So we need to add it in a global way to your web page and not page by page. So copy your tracking code that looks like this. So we're ready to install the tracking code and I'm gonna show you how to install the tracking code manually on your website first before we cover the second method. Right, so you need to add the tracking code to your header.php file on your website. To do this, you simply log into your WordPress dashboard and navigate to the left menu to appearance, then choose theme editor. Then on the right, you'll see your theme files. So what you wanna be doing is you wanna click on the one that's called header.php. So paste the tracking code you just copied from your analytics and paste it before the header closing tag. Now a quick tip, we know it's a closing tag because it's got a forward slash before the head. Then click update file and we're done. Google Analytics is ready and installed. So now what if you don't wanna to touch any code at all? As I mentioned before, good news, we have WordPress plugins that allow us to add the Google Analytics with a single click. Now I recommend you use a plugin called Google Analytics Dashboard Plugin for WordPress by Monster Insights. This plugin's light version is free and you have a paid version that has some awesome extra features and support as well. Now I'm assuming you already know how to install a plugin, but if not, I have a video showing you exactly how to install a WordPress plugin as well. So go ahead and after you've installed and activated this plugin, you'll automatically see the settings setup wizard. All you need to do is just go through all of these settings. And the cool thing about this plugin is that you, you don't actually need to remember or copy any codes. It's gonna automatically link you to your actual Google Analytics account just allow the access and what you do from there is you simply select the profile that you want to use to connect to. Simple as that. Now I would recommend you check out some of the free courses that Google has to offer on using Google Analytics and I'll put a link in the description for you to have a look at. So there you have it, two very quick and simple ways to install Google Analytics on your WordPress website. Now before I let you go, remember that if you want to learn how to get your websites to load as fast as possible. I have a video that shows you exactly how to do that as well as I'll give you a free 30 page blueprint on exactly the steps to follow to get the job done. And as always, subscribing helps me help you and so help me help you. Stay awesome.